Hello, this video is meant to show you how to generate and analyze data from a Fourier Transformed Infrared Spectroscopy Machine, otherwise known as an FTIR. FTIRs are very useful for material characterization. They can be used to determine what functional groups are present in a material sample due to the fact that different functional groups absorb and transmit different wavelengths of light. They can also be used for quantitative analysis, for instance, analyzing the composition of two different copolymers. The FTIRs are located on the third floor of the chemistry building in Organic Chemistry Lab number 310. A chemistry professor should be consulted before using these machines. There are two FTIR devices in the lab. They are both located in the northwest corner of the lab. Chemical splash goggles should be worn at all times when inside an organic chemistry lab, unless advised otherwise by a chemistry professor. Nitrile gloves are located along the back wall and should be worn when handling certain chemicals and materials. For most samples of solid polymers, however, gloves are not necessary. Furthermore, when inside a chemistry lab, long pants and closed-toed shoes are required. Tank tops, halter tops, and other items of clothing that leave your upper arms bare are not allowed. The FTIR machines should only be cleaned with alcohol. Bottles of isopropanol are located next to both machines. However, the solvent should not be applied directly as this could damage the device. Instead, first apply the alcohol to a chem wipe and then wipe down the machines. Nitrile gloves should not be worn when using the computers attached to the devices in order to avoid cross-contamination. After logging on to a computer, open up Omnic to begin data acquisition. The first step in testing a sample is to collect background data with no sample in place in order to calibrate the FTIR. To do this, simply click the Collect Background button in Omnic and then click OK. Prior to collecting the data, the number of runs can be increased to greater than the standard number of 16. This increases the accuracy of the data, but also makes the tests take longer. Collecting background data usually takes around 10 to 15 seconds for 16 runs. After the data is collected, you'll be prompted and you'll select No for Add to Window 1. Now it is time to load the sample. Place the sample under the clamping device on the machine and then turn the knob until you hear two clicks. Next, go back to the computer and click on the Collect Sample button in Omnic. Then click OK twice. After the sample is done running, a dialog box will appear. Click Yes to add to window 1. Next, you need to baseline the sample. First, click Absorbance or press Control plus A. Then click Auto Baseline and then clear the raw data. To get the data in the standard format, either press Control and T or click Percent Transmittance. This will invert the data. Finally, you can click the Find Peaks button and then drag the line to include or exclude certain peaks. This will find and label significant peaks on the spectra. Next, click on Replace and then Control F in order to resize the graph. The final step is to save this file to a location of your choice and or print out the graph. The graph should be saved as a CSV file. Saving the graph as a CSV file will allow it to be quantitatively analyzed later on. If you wish to obtain a hard copy of your spectra, a printer is located against the wall near the FTIR machines. 
In order to analyze an FTIR spectrum, the absorbance and transmittance of certain functional groups can be looked up in references, and or the spectra can be directly compared to previous spectra recorded in references. Now the sample should be removed from the device by simply unscrewing the clamping device and disposing of the sample. Thanks for watching our video. Hopefully you found it helpful in examining material samples using Fourier transformed infrared spectroscopy.